everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, the Genie Vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, we will be reacting to Relative Race Season 8, Episode 6. We are over halfway done with the race. Red team is sitting with two strikes. Black team is sitting with two strikes. Green team has one strike. Blue team has none. The last episode was really, really emotional, especially with JT's story and finding out about his mom being murdered. And Steve from Team Green met two of his brothers and found out that his father is still alive. So that question of which of the five brothers that could be Steven's father, it's the one that is alive. So that was really great to hear. So hopefully we'll see Steve meet his father somewhere along the journey. But I think the biggest thing that happened on the last episode was they didn't give anybody a strike, which I don't think has ever happened before in Relative Race. Um, I'm pretty sure that's right. So if, if it has, comment below, let me know when. Um, but that was just absolutely crazy. There's a lot that we are going to be expecting, but I'm not gonna say too much else. But before we do jump into the video, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. But with all that fun stuff said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. It's day six, and our teams are halfway through Relative Race. They've traveled hundreds of miles and discovered dozens of new relatives. Today, Team Black, Pam and Christine start their race in Durango, Colorado with a five minute head start for finishing in first place yesterday. Team Blue, JT and Kaylee begin in Gulfport, Mississippi. Steven and Susan, Team Green start their race in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. In Rising Sun, Indiana, Team Red, Jarrell and Amani begin their race by saying goodbye to Jarrell's Aunt Tina and Uncle Gene. You know, I, I've got to say, it seems like this season they're really spread out across the country. And I know in other seasons they've kind of had that, but I feel like this one's a bit more spread out um, overall and continually than some of the others. Um, although I, each team kind of seems to be staying within a certain area. Comment below if it, what do you think? Is um, Has it been really spread out more than usual? Or uh, do you think some of the other seasons have been just as spread out? You guys didn't even know when there was an actual chance that, you know, I could have stayed with the family. We were asking about you and looking for you and like, where's the baby? And we were not getting any answers until it got to the point where... Papers were already signed. Papers were already signed and you were gone. Nobody told us anything. The family had options to keep me in the family but the system had other plans. Hopefully, uh, what we're telling and what we're explaining will lead to a stronger future and a uh, stronger relationship, and the past cannot be uh, forgotten, but the future can always be gained. We're waking up a bit early this morning because we won yesterday's benefit of a five-minute head start. Here we go. Christine, we have our text. It came in. What? This oh early? God. Yes, I know. Oh okay, good morning, teams, and welcome to day six of Relative Race. This five-minute head start is a huge advantage. Mm. Team Black will be driving to Flagstaff, Arizona. Our cousins Tony and Tara made us breakfast this morning, but we got to go. The oh time starts God. now. Come on, Pam. All right, oh, my gosh, you guys. We got the text. We have to go. We are on the clock. Okay. Yes, yes, like, yes right yes. now. Okay. Okay. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Right, come on, Pam, we're on the clock. Come on, Pam. Hi, we love you. Good morning, team. So welcome to day six of Relative Race. Team Red will be traveling to Greenfield, Indiana. Team Blue will be traveling to Vicksburg, Vicksburg Mississippi. Mississippi. And Team Green will be traveling to Sholo, Arizona. Today's first place prize is a five-minute video call with anyone of your choice. Your time starts now. You gotta go. Later, guys. Later. Love you, sis. Love you. Do you know where it's at? 
Show me the map and I can get you right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uncle James That's always through, best. Helped us map it out, gave us the directions, we're ready to go. You know what, at this point, I'm not gonna lie, I hope we meet our biological father in the next few days. I mean, I would really love to meet Monique and Arnold on this journey. I think that would just be yeah. awesome. Like this two more huge pieces to the puzzle, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, we keep talking with family members about it and everything. Yeah. It's like the more I talk about it, the more I want it. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's been answered or if it's been talked about, but I can't remember if the sisters were full sisters or half sisters or is the older sister a full sister and the younger sister is a half sister. And I mean, the younger sister had a picture of Arnold, knew his name, and I don't think she knew anything else about him. But I mean, I don't know. It, I'd be curious if they if we find that out kind of I, hopefully we do. <laughs> We got a phone call? That was a real phone call. <laughs> Hello? We actually got a phone call. And it was Uncle Gene. Hold on, Uncle Gene. Y'all got this, you know, get at it so y'all can get the five-minute call with your kids. I'm excited because I might be able to video chat with my kids. We miss them. They're a bundle of joy, and you know they keep us—they keep us going day by day. Get that first place gig for the day, and move on to the next family member. It made us feel good to know that he was still thinking about us, and he was wishing us well. Thank you, Uncle James. Thank you, Uncle James. This is our national park, right there. Boom! Yes. Show, Show go. Out. City limit. Yep, right here. Stop! 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 Where is it? Jay, it's far. Let's go, baby. Should we go right here? Okay. Come on, you have the phone! Get in there. Fine. Hurry, what does it say? Put two and two together. The challenge for day six is put two and two together. Okay. Teams must unscramble the number puzzle and place the numbers in the correct order, both vertically and horizontally, to match. Oh, the that's end cool. Total. If any row does not match the end number, they must reset the entire board. Oh, wow. Once all the rows <laughs> and columns add up to their end numbers, the challenge is complete. Let's go. Go. All right, drop them. I'm going to be the director first. I direct Chris. Wow, the wow. <laughs> the director gets the final say. So, Jarrell, don't argue with me. Get a nine. Get a nine? My far left. Come on, put it in there. I'm trying. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. OK. Oh, it's, oh, my gosh. It wasn't shut. I got this. I got this. I don't want to have to redo this. We're going to get this right. the first time. I love numbers. I play Sudoku a lot. I'm really good at it. So yeah. I thought we were going to just knock this one out of the park. All right, so where you just put the three, put an eight. I think one of the hardest parts, it seems, is the fact that, like, it's kind of hard to see everything that's there. Um, I mean, right now, it, you can kind of see what's left, but when they're all down there, it's a lot to try to read. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Take it out, take it out. Oh. Think, um, think. I have done this amount of math in my head as an adult but not with a time restraint and not with the pressure that this challenge created. Put a two at the bottom. Okay. You gonna make the relative race one? Yeah. That'd be 30. The double R is a wild tile. It could be anything from zero to nine. Okay. So now you got 30. We gotta place that nine first. Uh, yeah, that's what I was trying the first time. What do you wanna do? You wanna start over again? Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Oh, that's it. That's yes. it. Yes. So, okay. All right. Carefully put them in. Carefully put them in. Come on, baby. You got this. All right. That's See? a great way to do Once it. Once we did that, and I was able to get there and, and organize all of them, and then she was just calling them out as we were putting them in, we knocked that thing out of the park. Two, three, three, three. Might three. be a Team Green Day. Huh? Woo! Wow. <laughs> Your relative lives at 4273 Brandon Iron Loop. Let's go. All right. Okay. Um, you got two twos and a double R. Hold up. Make the relative race one a one. All right, what do, what do we have left? What do we have left? Uh, two, two, three, three. Finally got it down to four number placements. Do a two on top of the five. Come on, 
up. We're about to get it. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get the twos in. It doesn't matter. Just put them in. Yes. 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 yes, yes that's it. it. That's three, it. Three. Three on the four and three. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. That's it. That's it. That's it. We got it. We got it. And do the rolls of rice. That's the number one. Number one. Yep. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Relative lives at 329 5th Avenue. Come on. 1455 Parkside Drop. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, let's go, Tim Green! So this is 4th Avenue. Where there is a 4th, there is a 5th. Always. Find something, not something. Baby, I'm doing the best I can. Okay, Wagon Wheel Road again. Okay? Do you hear me? Yes. I'm doing the best I can. I'm well, driving. It looked like you had no interest. No, I'm trying. I've looked at every sign. There's nobody here. I've never been to a town where there's like nobody. So look, there's a gas station right there. Okay, perfect. Pull over. In here? Sure. Don't ask these people? Sure. We're running out of ideas. I really hope these people know where to go. Do you guys know where Branding Iron Loop is? Yes. Yes? Where? I can't believe it. They know <laughs> right where to go. Basically, we're going through this neighborhood to get back over here. He said go all the way down. So you can only go left or right. He just said go to the next light and then turn left. That's all he said. I was like, when we asked somebody directions, you need to write down verbatim what they say. I did. I'm baby. trusting you. I wrote it down. Okay. Well, we on the right street. We know that. Yeah. Yeah, a long way to go. I so much time. I don't know. I mean, at this point, I mean, I can go that way and look. He said he's keep on straight. He said, like, go straight. Baby, calm down. I'm going. Hey. It's okay, go ahead. If, if let's say we're going back to 4th Street, where would you go? You don't know. Yeah, we need to go back toward the <gasps> middle of town. Oh, this is the interstate. Turn left. Right here. I am, I am, I am. Woo! Yes! yes! Let's go, Tim Green! 4273. Right. right here, right here, right here, right here. All right. Are you ready for this, baby? Yes, I'm, I'm ready. <sighs> Come on, oh my <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Sister. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Steve. This is my wife, Susan. Hi. Hi. I'm Sam. I know Sam. Yes. Are you my niece? Yes. Our <laughs> niece. Hi. How are you? I'm so good. Hi. Oh my god. You're she so looks so a lot good. like him. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm all right. On day four, when I met my sister Jen, she told me that she had a daughter and her name was Sam. And I really wanted to meet her. I am Samantha Harrell. I am Steve's niece. Jennifer is my mother, who is also his sister. Oh my gosh, I was hoping I was gonna get to meet you. I didn't realize it was gonna be like so soon. That's awesome. You knew my mom, right? Yes, we were very close. Yeah? Very, 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 very close. Aww. She was my number one. Really? Yeah. I'm so sorry you lost her. I've had time. But think about her every day. Yeah. I have a surprise for you. Yeah? If you want to walk with me around the corner right there. Yeah. Oh, is his sister there? Let's go. I think they've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see you again already. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. Thank you. We've been talking you know, non-stop about my sister, Jen, and wanting to see her again and reconnect. We missed you so much already. <laughs> I've missed Stephen a lot. I think about him a lot. I think about the possibilities of what we get to do, what the things that we have coming for our families. Oh, it's her sister. came right at the house, I immediately recognized her. She ran out to us and just embraced us like, like she's known us her entire life. Hi. Oh, look at you, too. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Thank you. You're too. <laughs> I think I'm in shock. I'm too. You know, I just, it's, I don't even, it's, I can't even. I can't believe this is happening. No. I'm Monique Bonomo, 41 years old, and I am Pamela and Christina's oldest sister. I've been looking for them 
as long as I can remember. It's something that I've always wanted. So I've never known a time that I haven't known about you guys. Yeah. So. That's cool. Thank you so much for being a part of this. You're welcome. Thank you for doing this. She's been waiting every day for this. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to finally meet you. I can't believe that all this is coming to fruition. I mean, it's just, it's so much to wrap your head around and I, I can't believe that this is our life right now. It's, it's, it's incredible. Wow. Yes. We're not the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the oldest. <laughs> I can see both, both. You know, but definitely, definitely mom. I can definitely see the features of Diana, our mom, and our dad, Arnold. So she is a full sister. You also have a younger brother. What? And two other sisters. Wow. On our biological father's side, right? Yeah. And you, you talk to him a good bit, or? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Still? Okay. Yeah. We had no idea we had so many siblings. It's mind-blowing. Yeah. It's amazing. And it means that we get to have more people in our life to love. And they've been loving us this whole time. Right. So we're excited. Yeah. We're totally excited to get to know everybody. Stop right here. Stop right here. It was just absolutely beautiful and serene outside. And that helped us to switch over from stressed and upset about how wrong everything went just to this peaceful feeling. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing this is another man. brother? I'm JT. This is my wife, Kaylee. Hi. I'm Matthew. Nice to meet you, Matthew. Nice to meet you. So who are you related to? I'm related to you. How are we related? Your first cousin off your father's side. Uh, oh, not a first cousin. Yeah. I couldn't tell with all the tattoos. <laughs> yeah, Y'all have a good journey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it's been a rough day. Yeah. You need to look like Dad. But I can see the birth in it. Yeah. Yes, okay. So you, you live here at Richburg? Yes, I've been here work for here. 16 months. Okay. I, I work at the hospital a good bit, sometimes on the ambulance. Yes. I come up here to a rehab center, and I graduated it. And I help people. Now, that's my calling. As long as I'm helping somebody, it's... That's awesome. This time, I was actually nervous. My leg was shaking. It was just a lot going through my mind. He doesn't know his mom. So I'm really, really, really I am adopted since I was 15 months old. And look at this. And all this was taken at the hospital. You were one and a half years old. There you are. My adopted mom has been very supportive of me since day one. You need to have closure. You need to find out what you can. If even if it's your mother, relatives, somebody that related to you. And whatever the outcome might be, it's gonna be beautiful. 329 right here. Right right here. Woo! No, part, but it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it his mom? Come on. It's gotta be. <laughs> My name is Jarrell. I'm Amani. I am your mother. I'm Vicky. Never gave up on looking for you. 
And now I got this special Mother's Day gift. Mm -hmm. Hi, you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> It was breathtaking. I just felt a lot of love when she hugged me. And, you know, it's, it's that mother-son hug that I've always wanted. In Vicksburg, Mississippi, JT and Kaylee are connecting with JT's cousin, Matthew. How was the journey with the, with the family? With... It's been a good journey, man. It's been a great journey. It's been an amazing journey. Getting just to meet everybody. It's, it's life-changing. I'm excited. I'm excited. Finally meet you. I'm glad to finally meet you. So, tell me about yourself. I was born in Singing River Hospital, Pascola, and then moved to Biloxi. Made it to 11th grade, quit school, you know, got it with the wrong crowd, fought through years of addiction, you know, made the wrong decision, served 10 years through a state penitentiary in Mississippi. Um, Moved to Vicksburg to come up here to a rehab. Graduated, and they seen something uh, in me, and maybe a counselor and a manager over the facility. I got married and picked up a job at a grocery store. And a year later, manager to the store, man, changed my life around and built the trust and with the community in that store, man. My wife's happy, my son's happy. Life couldn't be better. I'm so happy that you two are here. And so I wanted to show you a little bit about our dad. Okay. Here is pictures of mom and dad when they got married. Wow. Oh, they actually, so they were married. Yes. Nose, eyes. Yeah, Christine, you look exactly like him. These are your siblings on um, our dad's side, Alan. Samantha and Rachel. Wow. Is Arnold married now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just hard to wrap your head around the growing tree and fathom exactly how many people we may be related to and still have yet to meet. Did he know about us? Oh, yeah. Yes, he did. He has a, um, like one of the pol Polaroids that I have of you two girls. He carried that with him for as long as I can remember in, in his briefcase from work. That's sweet. Would you say that your relationship with him is a good one? It's been touch and go. You know, we're back and forth okay. kind of thing. Our mom, she thought about you two on a daily basis, you know, for up until the time that she passed. She never stopped caring and loving for you. It broke her. And I'm so sad that she's not here. Well, it hurts. I mean, it hurts every time we hear it. I mean, it was only a few years ago, and I just wish we could have caught her in this life. Because I feel like we could have helped her with her struggles and just let her know that, look, I mean, we're OK. But we won't get that opportunity. So it's it breaks my heart. Because she definitely. She would have been over the moon. It breaks my heart to see the pain in my sister's eyes. I feel like I'm experiencing all these things through them, and it, it, it does. It hurts my heart. Not for a moment does she not love you or care for you. I believe it. Yeah. I really do. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did you guys get to meet yesterday? I met two brothers on my dad's side. Oh, wow. Remember how I told you there was like a one in five chance that my dad was alive? Yes. He's alive. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> that is so awesome for you. And I met, so I met two brothers, Chase and BJ. Chase and BJ, okay. Okay, and then there's two more brothers and two sisters. That is yeah. amazing. Yep. Congratulations. And thank you. Oh my gosh. In the middle of talking to my sister, Jen, this great realization comes to me. If we get first, when we video call Craig, we can 
we can show him his knees. So they will actually get to see each other for the first time. We had this plan in place all day long. We were going to video call Craig and give him an update about everything we learned out. We found my sister, which is his niece, and we're sitting here with her daughter. And then, you know what? Oh, my gosh. So it looks like there's someone else. What the? <laughs> You know, I don't know if we've still heard the story about Charlene and her father's side and why she didn't know any of them or anything like that. I really do hope we find out. <laughs> oh, you got the beater? <laughs> we were going to video call you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's so good to see you. This is crazy. <laughs> Like, we just had a surprise with my sister. Like, I meet her daughter, I got my sister, and now my uncle's here, and we get to tie all this together. Not only for me, but for my sister Jen, and for Uncle Craig. I understand you are my uncle. Yes. Our uncle, I should say. Yes. yes. Our uncle. Yes. 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 Yeah, so that is amazing. Yes. We can come back. <laughs> yes. Sorry. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> You see this gentleman pull up and you physically see your mom, you know, in, in just a different form, but you see him, you know, the, the face, the features, it's all your mom. You're looking at your, your uncle. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh. You look like my grandmother. You look like my grandfather. You look like my grandmother. It's completely unreal how much you look like mom. Yeah. The resemblance, it, and, and Sam can contest, but it's like, really looking in a mirror it really is it really is the eyes the eyes the yeah. smile you have her for you know 30 years and you, you know nobody else and then you see a different relative and you're like that's my mom those are her genes so it's wonderful to see you when i saw the, the photographs i certainly felt like she was my sister you know yeah in greenfield indiana Jarrell finally gets the chance to learn answers to questions that he's had his entire life from his mother, Vicki. I just want to know, like, what happened from your point of view? Well, I was in foster care. I was going from home to home. I have been all over. I have been to date in Columbus, where I gave birth to you at St. Anne's. Um, I was up there in a group home for teen unwed mothers. If you give your baby up for adoption, then the parent can come back to the home for two weeks and stay until the system finds somewhere for you to go. But with me not giving you up, I had to stay in the hospital until they found somewhere for me to go, which I went to the Catherine Booth home in Cincinnati. It wasn't a good place. You might as well say I was homeless. They didn't even provide me with enough money to survive with you. I was allowed to see you three days a week. I was coming down for a visit to visit you. And I told them that I was here to see Gerald Thomas Lee. And they said, give us a moment. I was like, okay. But this specific day, it took you a long time to come out. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? Basically, they had an emergency court hearing where they went in front of the judge and got it to the point where I would no longer have any rights to you. I wouldn't be able to see you. I wouldn't be able to touch you, smell you, no nothing. When they took you from me, I didn't even get to see you that last visit. I just felt like... Wow. I didn't get a chance. They didn't give me a chance. When Tina told me the story about um, you sitting at the bus stop. If I recall correctly, I was laying on that bench sleep. She asked you if, you know, you guys were okay. And I said no. She took me and, you know, held me. And she 
said I had my eyes were so big they were like headlights. And uh, his family regardless of if he was here in spirit or in person he's always been loved he's never been forgotten i'm grateful for family both biological and adopted family now i'm i'm a, I'm a bit confused still from the story i don't know if it's because of how they kind of cut the story in you know editing or what when I watch this again in editing, I'm hoping that I'll be able to tell a bit more. But um, it, it was a bit confusing follow along with the story. It seemed like she was saying that he was taken away from her and then she was homeless. But then they were brought into the house by Tina. But at that point, I thought he was taken away already. So I'm I'm a bit confused with it. I'll have hopefully I can understand when I um, get it again. But. I don't know. I just I, it, it was kind of hard to follow along, but it, I mean it's it sounds pretty rough. It sounds it, it, one it sounds like she either he was taken from her directly by the courts, but then with the rest of the story after that kind of part, it sounded like she said that she left him there. I don't know. I'm 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 a bit confused with it. A third strike for Team Red would send them home. We got our relative's address. We made it there, no issue. And we got to meet Gerald's mom. Teams Green and Black both only have one strike. I mean, I'm not sure about the route, but we drove straight here. I am a little concerned about the call tonight. We just had a rough day. And Team Blue, for the moment, remains blemish-free. We're definitely getting a strike tonight. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> hey, it's day six. Did you all think that you would make it this far? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's time. Every day, there's a first place prize that goes to the winner. Whoever finishes in first place I think place it's going to be green, honestly. We'll have a five-minute video call with anybody that you want to have. They with. seem to rock it. Now, that's probably pretty valuable to all of you right now, whether that's to reach back to kids or even a family member that you've met on the show. Yesterday, Team Black finished in first place. And you had a five minute head start today. The difference between first and second place today was two minutes. Finishing 16 minutes over their allotted time. I think it's green. Focused, finding the freeway, and smashing the challenge, Team Green. Congratulations. Wow. I mean, I knew we were going to get first. I mean, that's their fourth know. win well, out of six games. That's Red, pretty crazy. You finished in second place. Oh, good. Minutes over your good. Time. They're oh, still in the race. <laughs> team Blue and Team Black, you both struggled today. I think it's time for Team Blue to get that straight. Finishing in third place, 27 minutes over their allotted time. Team Blue. Team Black, you finished 37 minutes over your allotted time. Oh my time. gosh, seriously? You your second strike. Oh, wow. That means all four teams are still in it. 
everyone has the chance and the opportunity to do better tomorrow. Hey, Dan, real quick, I don't mean to interrupt. The first place prize, me and my wife talked about it, and we think that it might do more harm than good. We don't want to mess up the excitement for the three-year-old and the other kids and stuff. I was wondering if we could donate that. Yes, you can. Tell me who you're giving that five-minute video conference call to and why. So we were thinking we'd give it to Team Red. Um, I think they could use a little bit of a, a pick-me-up. You know, they got the two strikes, and I think it could do some good for them. They've been coasting on those two strikes for a while. It really means so much. It shows that we are all really family on this show. Oh wow. Seriously. No strikes. That's gotta be some kind of history record. It's gotta be. First place, way to bring it back. That is awesome, right? you guys. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. Wow. I mean, that wasn't, that's not a shock to me. I'm not happy about it, but I'm not, it's not like, oh my gosh, I thought we were doing so good. <laughs> They're like, aww. I get to see all my kids. We have a surprise for you guys. Look who we met today. It's your grandma. That's JJ's mom. That's you guys' grandma. Hi, guys. Turns out my adopted mom was watching our kids, so both my moms got to meet for the very first time. Oh, my God. Hello. How are you? Bye. How are you? You have did a wonderful job with my son. I thank you. And I greatly appreciate you because you did a wonderful job with him. Oh, he's just a wonderful guy. Now it's your turn. Oh, it's my <laughs> turn. <laughs> this journey has been a huge blessing. Meeting my mom, we've been waiting to meet for 28 years. And the fact that it finally happened and we embraced each other, it was remarkable. Okay, well, that was quite an episode. <laughs> right off the bat, I think the main thing to talk about is Team Blue, no strikes still. I thought they were finally going to get a strike. I mean, they definitely seem to have a pretty bad day in terms of the race, but I mean, at this point, no strikes by day six. So that means that if they go at least one more day without getting a strike, they're in the final. Really sad to see now we have Team Red and Team Black coasting on two strikes. So that means that either one could go out any day now. They just need one more strike. And, you know, Team Green just has the single strike. So, you know, it's, it's I think we're definitely going to see Team Green in the finale. And that's, you know, I'm rooting Team Green still. Um, we're going to definitely see Team Blue in the finale. I mean, they really have to screw things up from here to not get in the finale. I'm really worried with Team Black and Team Red. Um, you know, I I mean, we are at day six. So, you know, if either of them get out, they've at least met a large majority of the relatives. And I'm sure they'll still meet the ones that they were scheduled to meet. It's not like they won't ever be allowed to. But I will say it'd be pretty crazy and pretty cool if it happened where it was like Team Blue got a strike, Team Blue got a strike, and then Team Green got a strike because then they would all be on day 10 and then that would be the first ever for Team Day 10, which would be crazy. I, I do really wonder the the story for Team um, Red, what what happened. I'm, I'm still a bit confused about that. Um, hopefully I'll figure that out when I, I watch again. Still haven't found out the story behind Team Blue uh, with, you know, his mom and dad's side and, you know, how did they know each other? And then, of course, with Team Green, I'm still really curious about, um, you know, his mom, Charlene, didn't know her father's side at all. And the sister said at one point, you know, we didn't even think that they were real. So, you know, what is the story behind that? Did she know her dad? Did, you know, did Charlene know her dad? That is, did uh, her dad know about her? Um, obviously that side of the family, her brother didn't know about her. So, um, I think there's still some question marks there that I'm 
really curious about. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. If you'd like to get access to my content early or even get exclusive access to content, such as extended scenes from my relative race reactions, be sure to become a patron of mine on Patreon. And not only will you be getting all of that extra content and early content, but you'll also be helping in supporting the channel. If you'd like to subscribe, just click about right here. You can do that and it's completely free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at the Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I'll see you in my next video.